how to make your own crash mats. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Dan here from Specific Personal Training, helping people find alignment and success in health and fitness. So I've got a cool little video that I thought I'd bring you guys today. And that is how to make your own crash mats, your homemade crash mats. And the reason why I came about this idea is because um, anyone that's seen some of the videos on my channel knows that I do strongman training. We have some strongman equipment here in my garage. And or while we do have a platform here, which is <laughs> being used for everything else, while we do have a platform to lift our Atlas stones onto, um, we often like to do things like stone over bar um, and keg over bar, things like that. And while we have a tire to stick it on um, to, to, to catch it when we throw it over, that doesn't work for the Atlas stones. The Atlas stones go straight into the tire. And we looked at buying some crash mats and anyone that's seen some online knows that these can be pretty expensive whether you get them from a gymnast place or whether you get them from um, a strength place online. They, you're looking at like $100 plus um, for crash mats or something close to that. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually show you some. I've got a bit of a setup here. So we were having a clear out of our house the other day. Um, we're having a clear out of the basement, trying to get rid of loads of stuff while we're here on this lockdown. And for some, and for some reason, um, when we had our old sofa, my wife got rid of the sofa, but she kept some of the cushions. She kept some of the sofa cushions. So um, when throwing them out, I thought this would be an awesome idea to use as crash mats. Um, for our atlas stones and maybe some any other things that we kind of want to use them for so i'm going to go quick speed through and talk to you on how to basically how i'm gonna get this into the final product so that you will see yeah uh, and just test them out and see how it works and everything So these are actually the back cushions of a sofa, of a couch that we had, hence why it's got this little nub here. And I think these would be the best ones as well because these are the ones that get worn down the least. So as you can see, all I'm doing here is just cutting through it. Um, it was pretty easy to cut through this was as it was kind of just glued on there at the end. So yeah, I'm just taking a knife, putting through this. Once I've done that, all I simply do then is just grab a plastic bag. As you can see, this is just a, a plastic bag that your mail kind of comes in. And I'm just using this as a sheet and as a protective coating. Now, don't be fooled, it did actually take me a few times to get this perfect um, because obviously I'd cut up the bag and it wasn't all cut to size. I was making do with what I had. But eventually I wrap it all in, stick it together with some tape and then this is the final product, that's it. I just wrapped it up like a present and that was it. Here we go, now let's try and test it out.
So there we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope there's some great information and stuff that you can take back from it. Uh, like I said, this little crash pad here, um, you know, it held up extremely well. Um, there's no damage to the padding at all. Literally the only the only damage to it is the um, is the vinyl cover. So I'm gonna look at some new covers as well. Obviously that's just a cheap plastic bag like that you get your postal packages in and stuff so um, I'm going to look to see about some leathering or some PVC covering something like that it's going to be a little bit stronger and sewn it together now if you are throwing out an old sofa you can actually just use like I mentioned you can actually just use the sofa cushions if you wanted to personally I'm going to look for something you know vinyl or leather something like that that's probably a little bit more easier to clean well plus we also threw ours away but you know I'd rather have something that's a little bit more easier to clean when it gets dirty but again with your sofa cushions you can just rip them off put them in the wash boom there you go but the main reason why I do it is just to, to stop the cushions themselves from getting dirty bacteria mold stuff like that because again gyms especially garage gyms are dusty and dirty areas so but yeah like I says guys this is how you can make your own crash pad pad for nothing or what well, next to nothing okay which beats paying the hundred dollars um that they're charging for on website especially again especially if you're getting a new sofa at any point soon you're throwing out a new sofa make use of the uh, cushions that you already have so so guys i haven't actually brought any material yet and stitched it up any of the pvc or leather material um, and stitched it up just yet but i have actually had a look online and as you'll be able to see here you can get um marine vinyl which apparently is the best stuff that's the stuff that most of these um crash mats and stuff like that are made out of and they're very easy to clean and you know very durable they last for a long time and as you can see it's only 6.99 a yard or if you wanted to go for the pvc leather option you can buy from just this website you can buy two meters for 22 dollars 87 and in case you're wondering how many um how much length you might need my actual pads measuring one length and one end 30 inches in length and then about another eight inch thickness so around up to about 40 50 inches so easily around two and a half yards or two and a half just over two meters um will actually suffice um if you want to get that little bit extra you can do but as you can see here from these prices it's going to cost you, and this is just the first two sites that I've seen, you might be able to get some cheaper elsewhere, but as you will see, it's not going to cost you any more than, again, $25. So if you're throwing out a sofa, here you can make yourself your own crash pads for less than $25. All right, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you did find it helpful, then let me leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video and, um, you know, the cool little invention, cool little product that I made. Um, otherwise, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest notifications from this channel. And I'll see you on that next one.